Hello, welcome to Toledo Beat. We're here talking with Tiny Tim, and we're going to get to know Tiny Tim a little bit. Um, if you don't mind, I have a question or two for you. One of them would be about your new music, your new musical direction. Uh, you're doing ACDC's Highway to Hell and Joan Jett's I Love Rock and Roll. I heard the songs. Why the change in direction? Why in heavy metal? Well, first of all, Mr. Lisa, it's nice talking to you. Uh, uh, first of all, I've, well, I haven't been doing this. I've always kept up with the top ten, whether it's now or 1884. Uh, when a song like uh, I Cannot Sing the Old Songs, written by Clara Bell, was popular then. So basically, I've always done this. It's the public that doesn't know this. Ah, I see. So you feel that uh, you keep up on musical trends? Oh, always. everything from, uh, you know, Rebel Yell to... Uh, you do Rebel Yell? Well, now I'm learning. <laughs> but a song like Come On, Feel the Noise, uh, to uh, a <laughs> song like uh, Bicycle Bill for Two. Ah. Now, what are your goals in this um, uh, new direction? You you want to go more towards uh, rock and roll and um, uh, pretty much stay with uh, heavy metal? You want to try all kinds of pop music? Well, I, that's what I've always been doing. Yeah. All kinds, from anything that's top ten, from here this year to years back. Okay. You know, I've sung uh, in many of my shows songs like I Will Survive and Hot Stuff. Uh, at the end of my shows. So basically, uh, it's nothing new except to those who are coming in the gate. Is there a new album coming out? Oh, I have two out in uh, Australia already, and I have, um, uh, I have just recorded a song called I'm Just a Lonesome Clone. Just a uh, Lonesome Clone. Uh, in, uh, out on the island of New York, and that's already been played on the... Uh, uh, D Dr. Demento, is it? Yeah. He's already starting to play that. So I've always, always got new records out. Well, that's terrific. Um, who's producing your new stuff? Well, um, I have this fellow, Lou Stevens, out uh, in New York and producing that. I have another producer in Florida, uh, Gary Lawrence, who produced uh, Do You Think I'm Sexy, which I just made into an MTV movie. Oh, did you? Uh, you know, in, in Florida. And, you know, it, it was shown out there in South Palm Beach last week. And the, the request, the, the man's have been very, very nice, and he's taken it to California. Oh, well, that's terrific. Where do you go to record your albums at? Wherever the uh, place is, from here to Australia, um, whatever they call me. I wouldn't mind doing one in Toledo. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're starting uh, nationwide recognition. Uh, it was pretty much through national television media. Well, you know, pretty, this is local, but you gain a lot of recognition very quickly through national television. Um, uh, do you have any plans of doing more videos besides that to uh, try and capitalize on your... Uh, oh, I love television. I mean, television is the vaudeville of this time period of time. It's <laughs> the you know uh, you know it's of course uh, it, it covers the whole world in a matter of minutes, where you know a vaudeville took weeks and months from t of traveling, but it as I said it is the vaudeville of this century. And I love every bit of the camera. Do you really? That's really interesting. Uh, you, you oh, so much so you you were even married on television. You've done uh, everything that you do. You try to connect yourself with the media, with television, to reach as many people uh, that you do. Uh, are you on tour right now? I know that you're here playing at uh, the Ottawa Tavern here in town. Uh, are you uh, on a uh, current tour right now? Yeah, well, Mr. Fitzgibbons, uh, Mr. Fitzgibbons brought me here, and it's really nice, you know, uh, being here. Uh, and all the time, because I've Ohio has always had a great, great memories for me. It was uh, back in 1918, of course. I heard, uh, I mean, later on, uh, Henry Burr sing "Beautiful Ohio," uh, which was in 1918 on the Columbia Gramophone label, one of the biggest songs before electric, before microphones. Uh, thousands and thousands of sheet music was sold in that song. So Ohio, being here, is always. A strange, beautiful memory. Oh, that's really interesting. Um, bec you seem like you have, uh, you're have. you a very sensitive person. Uh, what would you say would be the most beautiful song that, that you perform? Oh, yeah, nice. So, Lisa, I tell you, I don't know. It's <coughs> sorry, whatever uh, this morning you have to give me. But I, I always keep learning new songs and new old songs. Um, I, I have a number here that uh, I, uh, was done in England in 1934 by a singer called Monty Ray. Uh, and you know, one of the early singers of that period of time. If I just may do a few bars, uh, just go somewhere like this. Thanks. Mm, a lonely troubadour is all I'm singing for. If you leave us lonely, only my guitar and me. I 
thought that we were blessed with love and tenderness. But you masqueraded while I serenaded you. I dreamt of love and saw the passion in your starlit eyes. But now I'm singing in the fashion of a fool, a lonely troubadour. I'll be forevermore if you leave us lonely, only my guitar and me. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the songs of the past. <laughs> That's really terrific. Uh, you do uh, from songs of the top ten now and songs of the past. I guess you really don't have any barriers when it comes to music, do you? Well, I tell you, uh, what are the songs like? Uh, Come on, feel the noise, girls, rock your boys. We go wild, 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 wild. I don't, I don't know what era it is. <laughs> That's terrific. Hey, when people come to uh, see you uh, perform and everything, what do you, what did uh, they can expect to see? Well, that's a good question, Mr. East. I tell you, uh, I'll never let these old songs go. They always will come on first because uh, they had great melodies of, of years gone by. Now, we've all heard of the Black Man's Soul, which is the great rhythms and blues and great songs that Mr. Ellington wrote and Bessie Smith sang. But also there's White Man's Soul, and that is a great song written from Stephen Foster's time one of the great early American writers, so probably the greatest, uh, the, the original Tin Pan Alley's uh, uh, songwriter, uh, to songs like uh, Bicycle Bill for Two, uh, I Love You Truly, uh, Let Me Call You Sweetheart, and these are the great romantic songs that the world has, you know, uh, romanced and wined and dined to, and uh, these are the white man's souls, soul music, uh, that the great melodies that I always sing these old songs first okay. to keep the artists like Henry Burr and Billy Murray, the Presleys of 1903 and 4, Byron G. Harlan, alive. So they start off with uh, you basically stand up and play ukulele, and you play these old beautiful songs that really mean a lot to you. Oh, to the world. Well, when and the great artists who sang them. And then uh, when do you kick into this rock and roll? How do you at mesh that end. into your uh, at the act? End. At the end? Always at the end. Now you uh, come into town, you hire uh, different bands, local bands. Uh -huh. there How do you choose the band that you're going to use? Well, I don't. It's usually chosen for me. And sometimes it's a wing and a prayer. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, if, they, if they don't know it, you know, just pray for rain. You know? Uh, but the thing is, and if I get this ukulele electrified, uh, and if it works sometimes, then it, it comes out better because it leads the band on to the chords they can't, you know, play. Mm -hmm. Because it's a different period of time. It must be really difficult to come into town and just, uh, do you rehearse with the band at all? or? Before you go on stage? Well, we try to rehearse, but usually uh, it, uh, it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't, most of the time it doesn't work out well. So it's just a matter of, of you know, pick and choose. Um, but at the same time, remember we're facing a period of time from 1900 when the notes were very simple and you could pick up a sheet music and just sing it off, you know, the sheet music. You'd have to buy a cylinder record uh, to 1984, where unless you have are, are a good sight singer, you must buy the record and the sheet music because it's impossible. You know, the record is usually different than the way the note, notes are written. Okay. So uh, this is a period of time that old timers who can, you know, men who are experienced in music can play all these old songs, but uh, as soon as I go into a white wedding, they're lost. Whereas the kids can't play the old ones, but can play the new ones. So the generation gap is immense. And uh, it's a fantastic period of time, actually, from the cylinder, when they just were having the electric lights, to, uh, you know, to come on, feel the noise, when they're going into space, is a fantastic period of time in music. Oh, it truly is. Uh, one of the things um, I'd like to ask you, and I um, hope you think, uh, don't think I'm too presumptuous or anything. Uh, one of the things I want to ask you is uh, we want to find out a little bit more about Tiny Tina's goals and everything. What great thing would you attempt to do if you absolutely knew you couldn't fail? Well, first of all, I'd like to get to heaven. <laughs> you know, you know? <laughs> Secondly, uh, number two, but if in this world, I would love to go to the moon uh, <clears throat> and all the other planets. Because I think this country, this world, 
is uh, if this world goes on, it you know without a, without Christ's second coming, without anything like that, without no wars, I think the space age is where everything is headed to, uh, either a visit from them or a visit to them. Uh, I definitely believe there's, for years, going back to the 30s, I believe that there was something up there, uh, and ba or something underneath the waters. And definitely, uh, I think we're progressing historically to go out of here. Uh, the world, uh, you can just look at the cycle and the way it's formed from the beginning from the caveman. And if you look at the cycle of what it's coming to, uh, you'll find that uh, the next phenomenon probably will be that uh, contact. Uh, and so I think if the world goes on, a hundred years from now, uh, you'll hear people saying, how could you marry that creature from Mars? <laughs> Must be how you, you know, what's happening to the world? I, I think we're in for well, the greatest beginnings well, we, uh, the, uh, right now. I think uh, you look at things in a very broad scope, and I, I enjoy that. Thank you very much, Tony, oh, for coming pleasure. by. My pleasure. And uh, thank you for watching, and uh, stop by again at the Toledo Beat. Right, well, <coughs> thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you.